uh, our, our producer Mike Sullivan said when uh, I first got the part of Maggie that that you and I were dead ringers for sisters. And actually, I think you and I look more alike than my sister and I. Yeah, I, I know. I get a lot of people coming up to me and asking me if, or telling me that I look like you. That's great. I love it. <laughs> Kirk is really in a unique place because he has two families, complete families. His real family, of course, then he has has us. Yeah. And we act like a family. Mm -hmm. Does he oh, think about definitely. that? Oh, definitely, yeah. He really does. You know, people, they see us, you know, kind of sitting here, and they may think, like, oh, boy, now look at this. Uh, you know, we're like the nice little happy family, you know? You know? I mean, and it's not always like that, you know? And, okay. and it's not always like it is on Growing Pains. I mean, Growing Pains, uh, what makes it so great, what people like to see about it, is that we have a problem, we, we discuss it, and in 30 minutes we get to wrap the problem up and solve it, and everybody lives happily ever after. I don't really mind having my mom on the set at, at all. Um, it was a little different when I first started. Um, you know, I started acting when I was about nine years old, and my mom was taking me to the set all the time. And it was kind of a, bit, kind of a little bit like, you know, Mom, I'm getting a little older now, I can handle this, you know, I kind of want to do this by myself. And I'm getting better at it, and... Um, Right now, um, with my sister working, my mom's on the set with her half the time. So, um, you know, I'm getting a lot of practice being real independent. And the time that she does get to come on the set, I appreciate it because I don't get to see her that often. Yeah. I like my mom on set, too. When, one time, they, Kirk and my mom um, went to Colorado, so my mom couldn't be there on the set. And I was so sad, and I cried on the set because I really missed my mom. <laughs> Kirk gets along with the girls really well. They never argue or fight, and like most families, we have a family pet. Dudley is a 10-foot, 6-inch python. We wanted a dog, but Kirk is allergic to cat and dog fur. Barbara has been elected by the family as a president of the Kirk Cameron Fan Club, and she handles about 5,000 fan letters a week. Well, here's a little story we get to tell about one cool mom that we know so well. Her name is Barbara, that's what they call her. She's got four children that make her want to holler. But we're real good kids. We do all our chores to give mom the time to shop at all the stores. We think she's the best, yeah, A number one. She's even a friend, and we have a lot of fun. She's, she's a, a mom. mom. <laughs> she's, she's a mom. She's a mom. <laughs> My mom's so cool. Yeah, she's really rad. We think she's the best, and so does our dad. She looks real young. Yeah, that's my mom. But my friend just asked her to go to the prom. We love her a lot. Oh, yes, we do. And once you get to know her, so will you. She's a mom. She's a mom. Thank you so much for letting us rap. Don't hesitate, feel free to clap. And There's one, one more thing, thing that, that we like, like to say. We, we love, love you, Mom. Happy Mother's, Mother's Day. Day. Oh. <laughs> yeah.